I don't think I ever thought there'd be a hockey puck in, <laughs> in the Royal Archives. That's the other Canadian crown jewels. Well, know, absolutely. Yeah. So apparently we can touch this one. Over to you. Which I really want to do because there's Howie Meeker's signature, Wayne Gretzky. I mean, you, you know I, Wayne yes, Gretzky. Yes, I mean, you know, he's the, the, the great Wayne Gretzky, and he, he was there. I mean, this is the Queen's Golden Jubilee year, 50 years on the throne, and, and she's the guest of honor at this, this great exhibition match. She's not just on, on the pitch, as we would say in the UK, she's on the ice. Um, and I, I think the, the, that, that, was a, that was quite a, an issue in itself, getting the Queen on the ice. And there was this great moment where she came out onto the ice and she, you say, dropped the puck, dropped placed the, the puck. puck, dropped the puck. And I mean, that was a moment. Where, where ice hockey is not a big thing in, in, in Britain, but that picture was all over the British press the next day. And I've no doubt it was over all the papers in Canada as well. It was front page of every paper. <laughs> and in, in part, you know, Howie Meeker, Wayne Gretzky to be there, but also there are signatures here you might not be able to see. So Cassie Campbell was the captain of the uh, women's team that, that won gold in Salt Lake in 2002. And just because it's Canada, the men won gold too. Uh, Mario Lemieux is there. And I think, I mean, I guess 2002, we're, we're less than a year since 9-11. Mm -hmm. How big a deal would it have been for someone to say, we know it's a scary time in the world, but we would like to put the queen in the middle of the mm. ice in an arena of 18,000 people to drop a puck. Like, how would that conversation have gone? But people might have been a bit nervous asking it, but I've absolutely no doubt when it was put to the queen, she would have just said, well, that's, that, absolutely, why not? I mean, she's, she's always been uh, very keen to uh, be at the heart of events that, that really matter to people. As you say, this is just after 9-11, few months after at this particular moment after a year of tragedy but he, followed by this great triumph in, in Salt Lake Olympics I mean it, it just it's one of those moments where without saying a word the monarch can just bring together and capture the spirit of the moment very powerfully more, more powerfully than words can has this puck gone walking a little <laughs> bit here at Windsor <laughs> there's quite a funny story attached to this puck here at Windsor because Clearly, it, it mattered a great deal, and when it, when it came back, it wasn't just sort of put in a museum, it went into the Royal Archives. But then when somebody was trying to find it again uh, for an exhibition in 2017 to mark the 150th of Confederation, and the Queen was coming to Canada House for this, the cry went up, where's the puck? Um, <laughs> and um, eventually, it, it, it wasn't in the archives because it was in an envelope in the private secretary's office because it's just small enough to sort of fit in an envelope. So at least now everybody knows where it is. They won't lose it again. They better not. This is very important to Canada. <laughs>